the bridge, the beach, skater boys, hot chicks, not these chicks. What is interesting about Ghana? Well, I guess they have food. What is this? It tastes like fish. Like human. These are my favorite places that you cannot miss. And this. Oh yeah. So we explore together the hidden gems only can find in Dana. Where are you from? Ah, Korea. Ah, Korea. Vietnam. Fast forward, we go straight from airport to the hotel. It's only a 20 minute drive. The accommodation is about 30 to 40 dollars, including breakfast. And now I will show you my room. Only the glass toilet is my favorite part of the room. Oh yes, daddy. <laughs> Look at the view. It's so amazing. You can also go to the rooftop and see the entire beach. Ah, uh, this is my bodyguards. <laughs> Charlie Angels. Raise, oh. raise Angels. On our first day, we are just walking around by the beach, exploring the areas near our hotel, relax a bit, nothing crazy. They have night street food, dining by the beach, and a lot of artistic lights and decoration by the beach. As we were drinking in the restaurant, they caught our attention. A hype man to attract new customers and hype girls. Wow! Glad that we have this one guy. A few moments later. Up next, we're going to the Lady Buddha. We are super excited on our first tour. It will be a sunny day and make sure to put some sunscreen. <laughs> we are almost there, but first we need to visit the temples. And they have a huge garden. That's what she said! Have five! <laughs> Lady Buddha's statue is a prominent landmark representing compassion and peace. It's around 67 meters tall, overlooking the city and the sea. Next is the souvenir shop. We're not buying anything, it's just part of the tour package. And then I found this hidden gem. Bruh! Finally, we arrive in the Marble Mountain. Hmm, that cave looks familiar. Come on, man! At the end of this claustrophobic narrow passageway, there is a massive cave waiting for us. Suddenly, I feel uneasy inside the cave. Daddy, chill. Enough of that. Let's go quickly to the other caves. We are very tired of hiking up and down, but once you reach the destination, it's really really worth it because we've never seen this kind of cave before. Now I'm super hungry and I will try their exotic food. I'm eating frog right now. What are you doing? Frog. <laughs> Bon appétit. What is this? Eggs. How does it taste? It tastes like human. Like human. Oh! After the tour, we went straight to the hotel. Unfortunately, the weather is not nice to us. So we decided to go for an early dinner. Next is the Faya Surf Bar, coolest cafe. I just enjoy watching them skates. Even dogs hang out in here, and some of them are already wasted. Definitely, you must visit here. You don't want to miss this place. On day three, we are going to see the Golden Hand Bridge. It's about 40 minutes to reach to the Sun World. Let's go. But you still have to queue again by bus. Well, well, another ride. Cable car should be the last part of the ride. I hope. We are still far away. Bana cable car holds the longest non-stop single cable car. It has 5,800 meters in length, seven times higher than Burj Khalifa. Once you reach from the top, you will see so many things. It feels like you are in a different city. 
This place was inspired from Disney and European culture. There are so many things that you can do in here. You can stay from morning to afternoon and still you will not be able to finish everything. I guarantee it. The kid still wants to play. I don't know if we have time to see the Golden Hand Bridge. Finally, this is it. No more games or else daddy will get angry. Daddy, chill. Instagram versus reality. Huh? Huh? Super crowded but we still enjoy being here and witness the beauty of architecture, one of a kind and its engineering. Ah! <laughs> Up next is the basket boat. We are now heading down and going to Hoi An City. It is only one hour drive. We just arrived and we really don't know what to expect. We are just hoping that we will not get wet. Basket boats are commonly used for local fishermen for navigating shallow waters and catching fish. Initially, it was a relaxing ride surrounded by the beauty of nature, but this is unexpected. If you feel bored, they have entertainers. If that's not enough, they have a few pubs in the middle of the river. Crazy! Before the tour ends, let me try to paddle the boat. It's not easy for the first time. We are looking some nice restaurants along the river. We don't know which one is better until we found this. Wine tasting. The girls insisted to try. This is Vietnamese dish. I want to show you how to eat the proper way. Angie. <laughs> After the dinner, we just need to relax and enjoy the scenery. No rush. We are heading now to the Vietnamese musical event. The girls booked this event and I have no choice but to join them. I was just sleeping the entire show. Unfortunately, they don't allow us to film. And that's about it. Hope you enjoy our video and I will see you in the next adventure.